G'day guys, here we are at number seven, angled block. Okay, straight into it. Uh, what's the footprint? We can see we've got 70 millimeters that way, 58 millimeters that way. All right, um, same as always, rectangle tool, click once, 70 millimeters, comma, 58, enter. And that, cool. Let's push pull it up by 90 millimeters, nine zero. Cool. Now, this, uh, these two channels here, you guys should be pretty comfortable doing those. Um, it's where it's going to get tricky are these angles here um, because it hasn't actually given us any information on the uh, angle, how far from this way, how far from that way. It just tells us it's 45 degrees. So that's going to be a little bit tricky, but don't worry. We've got a way to do it. Let's just start off with the channels, okay? Nice and easy. We can see that. Um, let's start off putting this big, big one through. Um, these sides are 15 millimeters each, so we'll come... 15 in from each side, one, five. And I think in this exercise, we'll need to use the, um, oops, the old uh, eraser, but we'll do that later. Um, 18 down, enter. Now we can just use the rectangle tool, go from there to there. Boom, how good's that? All right, push that one all the way through. That bit's done. Now, we just need to remove that little channel, I guess you could say. Um, so to do that, best way to do it might be to go we can see that's 22 millimeters thick that's 22 millimeters so let's put those lines in 22 millimeters down and 22 millimeters up now we can use the pencil tool to just draw a line straight across make sure it goes green pencil tool straight across make sure it's green perfect see how it's filled in a little thing if we click and hold the eraser get rid of those now Another little trick is um, we can see that we need to go eight millimeters down. So I'll click that one, type in eight, enter. Now on the next one, if I double click, it takes it to exactly what I did last time. So if you're doing the same or pushing something the same as like doing a few of the same thing, just double click and it will do exactly what you did last time, the exact same distance. Okay, that's the channel sorted. That's pretty easy. Now, this angled part. The only information we have is that it's 45 degrees um, the angle and it's 45 millimeters from that top corner. So what we'll do is we'll put in that 45 millimeters from the top corner, put it in over here, four, five, enter. Now we can go um, and we want to go over to our sort of measuring tools section and just underneath the tape measure is the protractor. Okay. If we click on the protractor, there's two clicks we need to do. First thing, we need to make sure that the protractor stays green. If I go up here, see how it turns blue? If I try and use that, it's going to draw it on the wrong axis. It's going to draw the line on the blue axis, whereas I want it drawing on this face with the green axis. So you just kind of need to move the mouse around and get it in the right spot. If it's on the blue and you can't get it to go to the green, you can use the arrow keys. So if I press the right arrow, down arrow, left arrow, and just press the arrow keys until you find the one you want, that's another way to get it there. So on the green axis, we're going to click once. We're then going to go to the bottom corner, click again, and that now allows us to draw in an angled line. Now, you can see down the bottom of the page here, it tells us what angle we're at. We want to put that in at 45 degrees. So four, five, enter. And you can see we've got the line in there. So all we need to do is draw a line from the intersection to our guide point, push pull that one away, right? Now, exactly the same for the bottom, repeat the process. So from here, we need to go 45 millimeters in of the protractor on the guide point, click once on the corner, click again, and drag it up to 40, oops, not five, 45 degrees, okay? Grab the pencil tool from the intersection to the guide point, and again, double click, and it does the exact same thing as last time. Beautiful. Now, that looks pretty well spot on to the drawing. I think we've done everything, haven't we? Yeah, we have, look at that, cool. So, edit. Delete guides, we'll file, save, we'll save it as number seven angled block. Okay, save that, file new to start our new one, and what are we doing next? The dovetail guide. Okay, a um, few things we, uh, it's pretty well all skills that we've learned before, but we just need to work with a center line now. So, we'll go over that in the next video. See you guys there.